Welcome everybody to multi-threading in C language. Here's Ahmad Nasser as all time with you with a new tutorial about multi-threading in C language using BASIX. So let's begin. First thing we have uh, this folder. It's an empty folder. We need to create a new C code and generate the object code and then run it and test the multi-threading in C language. So let's begin. First thing, let me create a new uh, C code here, an empty script. So, okay. So let me be just put base the code here. Uh, first thing, we import the B3 libraries and because we're not using a threading libraries that let us to talk with the uh, operating system so here we have a we just declare a, a global variable sum integer and then define the threading function we define the thread here okay we don't have objects in C we have function procedures so we using a, f a thread function it's actually a, 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 fu a pointer function or let's say a delegate okay it's a delegate so we using basically a delegate here void is star runner and void we just give it the parameters we start the main by taking the number uh, the the argument the number of argument and a pointer for arguments here and after this we move on we declare a thread identifier using the bthread underscore t and the pthread attributes for the uh, thread identifier this is an optional we might not use this uh, we just take input from the the user by using the command line uh, if argc is not equal to 2 okay uh, we just give that mean we don't have uh, we don't have uh, um, we have an empty we have an empty parameters the user did did not enter anything okay we have just slash slash n slash r so we don't have anything we, we, we we're not gonna accept anything from here so we return zero we exit and when we go go to the second if statement here if the argument is negative number so we we take a to i which is convert string to integer we just take the argument number one okay and we convert it to we convert it to um integer and we check if this is negative number we gotta print out to the user that this is not an acceptable argument as you can see here okay so after this uh, we gotta move uh, to the b thread uh, b thread initializer so this is an optional we can you know forget about this if we have attribute here we, we gotta pass the attribute inside the, the 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 thread okay but since we talking about summation and summation is not a function it doesn't have any attributes so forget about this for now we can forget about this uh, we need to create the thread okay and since we don't have attribute to pass we can cancel this by typing null here okay let me just okay and we just give it the pointer to the thread ID and we just pass no parameters inside the thread okay and we just you know if you have parameters you want to pass in, in you know inside the thread you can pass them here 
but since we have a null parameter so we're not gonna pass anything here okay but we gotta pass the parameter from other place which is this place because we have many parameters okay we have a pointer to the parameters we have i we have upper okay and notice here i is zero but upper is we just gonna convert um, you know we're just gonna convert uh, upper to integer and then just move from i equal one to upper and just keep adding one and one and one uh, okay until finish we need to exit the thread from here and after that we need to call b3 join because we want to give this the highest priority in execution we want to wait for this until it's finished and after it's finished we're gonna print out on the screen the the summation here so in order to run this let me just save this save it and let's go to the command line just uh, just compile the code we need to to compile the code so we just type GCC B thread compile thread the, the name of the C code C script file just type enter after that we need we have the object file we need to generate the executable script so we just type O GCC B thread O the name of the script say th sorry up here th and just run enter so here we running the the script we have the th script here we can run it by using th we are running the script but notice here because we don't have it we have empty parameters we get this message we need to type something like 55 so as you can see here uh, we move from 0 to 55 we add all the numbers the, the summation for all the numbers from 0 to 55 we end up with this number so let me just now extend the number to be something like this notice here it takes a lot of time I can you know type something here it, it's still working it's still working but you know I'm just keep adding the numbers and this requires some time okay and let's see the program is still running it doesn't break down you know I can still able to type on the screen the program is still running because it has a different thread it's running on a different pro you know we have the same process this process has a lot of threads so we are using a different thread to run this this requires some time you know because we have entered a, a, a big number okay so we just keep adding adding and adding just want to show you and this is a process if you go to the, the 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 command line here and just type BS and you can see here we have a, a process say PS dash a and we can see here we have a uh, we have a we have process and we have a, a thread here running and it takes a lot of time we can just keep tracking of this thread you can see how much time it takes okay so if I need to end this because this is a big number and just type something smaller go to the BS and just see here we don't have any thread running in the background if you go here okay we cannot track that because we need something to see okay let's put something bigger ok 
okay something bigger okay okay let's run this again but we need to hurry as you can see we have a thread here but now run it we don't have a thread because it's finished so this is pretty much what is the thread mean how we can use a thread in C so we are using bus X and and as you can see here we um, we bought this method here b-thread join if you need to remove this okay if I need to to remove this and just give you an intuition of what is gonna happen okay just recombine everything okay um, Okay, just generate the code again. Okay, try run the for the same number. Okay, we can see here the thread is zero because we don't wait. Okay, we don't wait. We just we ju we don't wait for that process. So this is the important of P3. We just keep waiting until it's finished, and after it's finished, we go and continue execute execution of the our of our code. So this is the th that is the important of the the join method that we using over here. So this is pretty much for this tutorial, guys. I wish that you understand what I said in this tutorial because the concept threading is not easy in C. You need to use many dependencies and create a thread ID and and then the, you need to initialize the thread okay create it here and you need to join the thread and not see we have a null here and this null is very important because sometimes we you need to do something while you are running the thread so for example you need to um, make a progress bar or something on the screen you can put a, a pointer to this method and this method is keep running you will keep calling this method every time while your method is in execution so be, okay this is you know but this is an optional for now I don't want to go in depth with that uh, but the the basic thing what we did in this tutorial was importing the p3 libraries and uh, we just create a global variable here and the runner and after that we just creating a b3 identifier and thread attribute this is an optional just get the input and we just create the b thread here by using the pointer to the to the thread and put here to be null the attribute to be null and the runner method we call just the runner method that we want to run the thread on and we just pass the values to to the thread by using the argument number one so we just want to pass this into the arguments and this argument is gonna be here we just you know give it the parameter we this is directly connected with this one okay and uh, after that we just initialize the for loop to keep sum up the 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 numbers from zero until we reach from one until we reach the upper number that we are given. So this is pretty much on the art of finish we just say p thread exit and we just be here and we're ready to bring out in the screen the summation for all the numbers. And we see how to use the process here to keep track of the thread and see what is the execution time of each thread in action so this is pretty much all about this tutorial I have with you subscribe stereo 007 here's Ahmad Nasser as all time with you don't forget to subscribe put comments any questions any note you have we are ready to take it and in action so thank you again See you in another tutorial. Thank you.